God wants us to have a mental optimism. The Bible talks about having hope in your life. That is what we call a mental optimism. This isn't some kind of meditation or weirdness. This is not what this is. This is actually something that's very real. We're going to look at this today. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17 says, Put on the helmet of salvation and take up the sword of the Spirit. Sword of the Spirit, we know, is the word of God. But helmet of salvation, what is that? Well, is it just saying, I'm saved, I'm saved? Then 1 Thessalonians kind of kicks in. And it says in 1 Thessalonians, put on the helmet of salvation, which is hope. You have to receive that from the Lord. The breastplate of righteousness guards your heart. So faith goes in the heart and it's something that's very tangible and real. Hope is in the head and you have to make a conscious choice to switch your thinking to being what we would call in terms of uh, godliness, a godly perspective of hope that will affect your mind. That's what it says here. Critical. Hope affects the mind. So God in Jesus' name, I have, I have to take on a mental optimism that comes from you in my mind. That's what it says in Thessalonians. The helmet of salvation, which is hope. So you can guard your life, guard your heart. That's fine. That's faith. That's not hope. So it's really important to see this. Hope is in your thoughts. And so you have to make a break in your mind. It's literal. You have to pray it. You have to pray something of the old nature, be gone, something of the enemy, be gone. And listen to what the Lord is saying. God, I got to fight for my mind. I got to claim that place for God in my mind. That God, you're going to be the glue that holds me together. And what is it that's going to hold me together in my thoughts? Hope. This is for you. This isn't for someone else. This is for you. Whoever you are watching me. It's not like the guy down the street. This is every single person watching me right now. Hope is for you. Do it in your head. God, give me, guide me to the thoughts that you have to, to for me and for me to take captive the thoughts that are bad. That means if I'm thinking, God, you don't really love me, you don't really have good things for me, I have to quit those thoughts, quit them, quit them. It's like quitting the gym, only you don't wanna, you know, maybe quitting the gym at COVID and getting a good workout center in your own home. You quit the gym there, you move home to a home gym. You gotta quit the thoughts of the enemy because you're not safe in the thoughts of the enemy in your mind and you have to have optimism. And what are those thoughts? The negative, God isn't really for me. God isn't, you've got to make that switch. God, make the switch. And I pray it into my mind. Do it with me in Jesus' name. God is for you. He's not against you. And calibrate your mind to that optimism that you stand towards God with looking to him with a good, it's not a good attitude. It's, a, it's an understanding of who he is towards you. And that's the optimism. In Jesus' name, God, make this happen. Glue it into our heads, These verse, this verse in Jesus' name. Put on the hope. God, I have hope exceedingly abundantly in all things. You can do these things. You are able, Lord. And I am, Lord, you are for me. You're not against me. In Jesus' name.